drink. Welcome back to Novel Explorer Radio. It's a real adventure this week as they head towards the Pyrenees. But it's not all plain sailing and they find themselves in a spot of bother. This is going to test the explorer's driving skill, navigation and nerves. Whilst Teddy Ralph watches with bated breath. So they finally bitten off more than they can chew. Does their inexperience finally get the better of them? Well, stay tuned and come along for the ride. Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. It has been a couple of weeks since we vlogged and we have made our way back into Germany and then down through France as we're heading to the sunshine. So what we're doing is we're heading south, as Meg said, to the sun, and we haven't traveled this fast in a while, so we haven't been doing anything particularly exciting to film. However, today potentially could be a bit different, depending what happens. So as we make our way towards Spain, we've got quite a big obstacle in the way. Which is the Pyrenees. Yes. We've been doing some research and we're trying to find out what the weather's like there because we've had reports of some snow already. So we don't know exactly what we're going to be faced with. There is, however, a nice little campsite up on the Pyrenees somewhere. Yeah. Um, we were going to book in there, but we decided not to because we don't know if we're going to be able to actually make it there today or not. So we're playing it completely by ear. So you're coming along for the ride today. We have, haven't really got a clue where we're going to be. We don't know if it's going to be mega snowy. We don't know if the roads are going to be clear. Um, so it is true adventure today. Yeah. Our first task of the day was to reluctantly refuel. France's diesel prices were a lot higher than what we'd been used to. So we've just done over an hour on the road through changing landscape and weather. Being sun, rain, thick cloud now. This is the most adventure we've had in quite a few days, but with it being early-ish November as we film this, it's off season, so we're hoping it will be quiet enough but the roads will still be drivable. I mean, there might not be any snow at all where we're going. That nav is anything to go by. We've got, um, I don't know if you can see these very sharp turn backs on ourselves, which I assume is going to be up the side of the mountain. Mm, mountain pass. I'm excited to see what it's like, but I've got a feeling maybe it's not going to be as bad as we feared it might be. Yeah, there's no snow at the moment, just a bit of wetness. So I don't know, maybe we were being a bit too scared, but there is still just under half an hour to go and we've got to go up and up and up and up by the look of it we're trying to be cautious i think the word is yeah we scared particularly we wanted to do it but we didn't want to be reckless that's it so we'll see you in a few minutes hopefully when we make it to the top of uh, this mountain it didn't take long for us to ascend the mountain road as we gained height the temperature dropped and so had the white stuff. So we've definitely found snow. We've come up quite a way. The sat nav says we're about 14 minutes away from our destination. There's a lot of signs saying that there are frequent snow drifts up here and there's a lot of fog that's starting to descend where we are. So we're not really sure if we're being silly or trying to carry on or what. If it gets bad, then we'll just have to turn around and either go, go around the Pyrenees if we can, find somewhere else to camp for tonight. We're not sure yet. It's all a bit up in the air. So we've just turned around a little bit further on up there. The visibility suddenly went to nothing and we just had this uh, feeling in our stomachs that uh, we should probably turn around. So we're trying to head back down now. I don't know if you can see, but it is snowing lightly. So I think we've made the right choice. We couldn't help but feel a little disappointed as we really wanted to reach the campsite. So it's time to check our map. All right, so we're going to try a different route. We tried going that way to it. That's the one we're going to. 
So Sharon said we're gonna drive down and go this way. I've had a look on the Michelin route roads open or closed website and both routes seem to be open. We made our way down the valley to find an alternative route. On the map it looked like a more significant road than the previous one. However, as the road snaked up the hill, it became narrower and narrower. With very few opportunities to turn around, we decided to continue as there wasn't much snow. All of a sudden, there was snow and it covered the road. It was clear at this point we weren't going to make it to the campsite. The only option was to turn around, which proved pretty challenging and scary. Our hearts were in our mouth as the front wheels span a few times. Directly ahead of us was a snow drift and a sudden drop. But after carefully navigating a multiple point turn, we were finally pointing back in the right direction on solid tarmac and with a huge sense of relief. This is definitely going down as a Pyrenees fail. Um, We've just turned the van around, we didn't film it because we weren't sure if we were going to be able to spin it in time. The road was getting narrower and we didn't know if there's any passing places or anything so we had to turn it just literally here and I was so scared <laughs> that we weren't going to get it around. Yeah, that is a no-go. Maybe a different day but not today. Not today, there's an... I'm really, I was gutted but there's no way. I think we would have got stuck up there. Quickly, get in, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that, that was scary. So we went back to our plan B campsite and that is closed as well. So we are having the time of our lives today. I think it's literally going to be a car park for us tonight. So we must admit today that it's been a bit of a fail, an epic one at that. Sundays mean that not much is open anyway, but we did do a little bit of research on if the roads that we wanted to take were open and the Michelin app website said that they all were so we'll bring you along tomorrow for the adventure to find a better spot than this car park see you tomorrow good morning it's a very nippy morning and it was a very cold night in the van in this car park it was pretty quiet there's a few weird noises but we slept pretty well so for today's plan we're going to try and get to Le Plan which is currently down this valley south towards the Spanish border and the Pyrenees and well we're in the Pyrenees but even more into the Pyrenees but first let's go get a couple of pants bread baguettes we uh, are knocking the initial plan on the head and we're not going to venture up those mountains again. We want to go and explore the snow, but in a more uh, sort of safe environment, hopefully. We just want a cool spot to take some nice pictures and sit for the afternoon and enjoy, like, being in winter in our van with the heater on and a hot chocolate in hand. Yeah. Thank the Lord for the heater. Yeah. It really does take the edge off tremendously. Like, you don't really notice it when you're inside. We just jumped out now to go into town. I've had to put gloves on. It's absolutely freezing this morning, but uh, didn't really notice inside the van. So to try and not make this vlog a total fail, we're heading about 30 minutes south to Le Plan. Not exactly sure what we're going to encounter there, but we'll see. I'm hoping the road to it will be okay and we can get some sort of snowy backdrop for just the afternoon. That's all I want, really. That's my, that's my grand plan at Le Plan. You've made that joke already. I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Cheers. Thank you for watching this pretty uneventful vlog, but this is just the way it is sometimes in the van life. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen and trying to make a video around it sometimes is a little bit... When we set off for the Pyrenees, I had in my head this amazing adventure of snow-capped mountains and us just driving through. But obviously you never really know what you're going to be faced with, especially when you're uh, filming a video, so you try and second guess it a bit and this time it's just an honest fail. It's been quite hard to research things 
with the weather and where there's snow and I expected it to be easier to find out which roads were open. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked anything that you've seen, give us a like and a thumbs up. And press the bell button down below to receive notifications each time we upload a video. And now we're going to pass on to our future voiceover selves to tell us what's happening next, because we don't know. Yeah. Go on, let us know then. Make it good. <laughs>So yes, join us next time as we successfully find our way over the Pyrenees and cross the border into Spain. And as always, please feel free to click that subscribe button down below and keep up to date with all our future adventures. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.